Today we will be reviewing our Wabash Rubber ASTM Press model G50H-19-RASTM. This is a 50 ton press with 19 inch electrically heated steel platens. It is available in 460, 230 or 208 three phase power. This press is used for preparing rubber test slabs per the ASTM D3182 procedure for quality control of production, research and development, and for comparison of different materials. Here are samples of the uncured as well as the cured rubber test slabs that are typically used with this press. The temperature of the platens is set on our 16th DIN discrete temperature controllers. The press is set using the adjustable analog gauge and manual relief valve. The clamping force of the press is 8 to 50 tons, which is well above the required 500 PSI required to mold the four 6x6 samples typically cured with this press during the ASTM D3182 procedure. All timing and counting functions are entered into the PLC by entering the times in the recipe on the Allen Bradley color touch screen. The key feature of this Wabash press is the extremely tight temperature uniformity of the heated platens obtained during the process of curing the rubber. This is achieved using a grid of electric cartridge heaters as well as heat pipes which are sealed tubes filled with fluid that act as a high heat conductor. They run perpendicular to the cartridge heaters. The deviation in the platen temperature cannot exceed plus or minus one degree Fahrenheit or plus or minus a half a degree Celsius inside the 15 inch by 15 inch sweet spot of the platen. Many years of research and testing from our engineering department have gone into developing these special platens. This press has all the standard safety features that you have come to depend on with a Wabash press. Two hand anti tie down close buttons for safety of the operator. Interlocked safety guards to keep any other personnel in the area out of the clamp area while the press is closing. This press has polycarbonate panels for more visibility of the clamp area during processing or it's available with a light curtain in lieu of the manual front gate. Other features included in the base price are lifting tubes for ease of getting the press into your lab or production facility, calibration certification traceable to the NIST of the clamp force, platen temperature and PLC timers is standard on this press. This press features two speed operation, a fast closing speed at low pressure and a slow pressing speed at high pressure. The adjustable proc switch controls where the speed change will take effect. The press also features a bump, breathe, or degas feature. This allows any trapped gases to escape from the mold during the curing process. This press is also equipped with several optional features. A work table on the front of the press allows the operator to pull their book mold out of the press between cycles for ease of loading and unloading. An optional contact gauge has also been installed on this press to allow the press motor to shut off after achieving the set clamp force on the press contact. This eliminates the need to have cooling water hooked up to keep the hydraulics cool, reduces energy consumption, and reduces noise for employees who may be working in close proximity to this press. This press is equipped with an optional Yokogawa data acquisition system for monitoring and recording platen temperature and clamp force during the cycle. In addition, mold thermocouples on the back of the electrical cabinet can be used to monitor and record actual part temperature during the curing of the material. The data can be extracted via SD card, USB drive, or ethernet port on the back of the recorder or wirelessly monitored on your Bluetooth enabled device. The dimensions and weight of the press with the guards installed are 53 inches left to right, 53 inches front to back, 77 and a half inches high, and 3,650 pounds. Thanks for watching our Wabash Press Review. Call us with any additional questions that you may have.